Hey Ken folks, so Brian here with the Beard Axe and today's episode is a follow-up to the Milk Jug Body Armor and this episode is the Barrel Body Armor and I think that we learned our lesson with the plastic only body armor and I think we're gonna instead of using milk jugs I think they're just a bit too soft we're gonna try barrels I think barrels are gonna be harder plastic it's the same HDPE and uh, but I think it's gonna have different qualities than milk jugs so and I think it's gonna be less labor not only that I think plastic itself just doesn't have the properties it needs to stop high-powered rifle rounds and I've seen a lot of success with floor tiles these little floor tiles I've seen a lot of success online where people have just put them together duct tape the whole thing up and then you know shot some rifle rounds at it and uh, it was pretty successful and it didn't cost a lot of money and uh, I think using floor tiles with the properties of plastic and vice versa could give us a very nice lightweight form-fitting body armor and I'm really interested and excited about this build and I would like to get this started and see how well it actually works and see if we're onto something here let's get started okay so the first step I think is to make a pattern for what you want your body armor to look like so I think that's pretty good for what I need um, you know it allows a bit of movement and uh, look online as to what others have you know used as far as like a plate and what it should look like and size and all that stuff but anyway I just took some cardboard that I had this little pizza box that I got from Walmart you know just anything really you can use paper bags whatever you need for to make a pattern so I'm not gonna bore you with how I made this but generally anybody can make a pattern and so here's mine all right so we're going to just drill some holes before we start cutting on every corner Make sure you're on the outside of every corner. Got our first piece taken care of. Let's get another one just like it. So the next step is to arrange all of my tiles. And I wanted to make sure it all fit inside of the pattern that I had made. Now, yo, I chose this style, obviously, because it'll flex more. But it, the grid that it came on, the little wire grid or whatever it was, uh, it spaced out the tiles too much and I wanted to make sure I closed that gap to make sure that no bullets can make it through In the second layer I was going to try and put over the top of those other gaps And so as you can see I just uh, changed up the pattern just a little bit where I closed up those gaps And as you can tell I used hot glue to kind of keep it all together, but it wasn't as uh, as good as I'd like it to be and I think I can think of, of, of a better way on the next time I do this Then uh, the next step is I'm going to use this same pattern To uh, scoop it up and put it in that bag there But as you can see all right there that hot glue just was not working and, uh, and I, I've got a pretty good idea on the next one that I'm going to do where um, Those tiles will sit tight and right where I'd like them to be So once it's you know all put together and I'm happy with it I'm gonna put it inside this one bag and not just this one bag oh I think I put in like 50 bags over the top of this thing I put it in quite a bit and uh, it's pretty simple pretty self-explanatory okay that doesn't look too bad
And so the idea is that you want to overlap the opening, right? So I want to make sure that I don't have one big opening uh, after all these bags. I just want to put a bag over the top of it, and then the next bag would go over the bottom of it. Uh, anyway, it's it's pretty simple. I just didn't want a big hole where the uh, the plastic could shrink, and uh, you know shrink above the ceramic tiles. But um, again, this is all an experiment, and you don't really know until you give it a try. Keep doing that until I got enough bags on there. And enough ended up being roughly 50 bags. That big, you know, big bag of bags, it pretty much took all of those. So in order to keep the plastic from sticking to your pan, you want to use parchment paper. And uh, this worked excellently for what I needed it to. And it just peeled right up after I needed, after I heated up all that plastic. So I'm just going to put that ceramic tile with those 50 bags. As you can tell, it added a lot of mass to it. And I'm going to put it in the oven and I'm going to melt all those plastic bags together. And the hope was that it would actually melt to the ceramic, ceramic tiles. I let it at uh, 350 degrees. I let it sit for about 10 minutes. And uh, that seemed to do the trick, as you can see, see right here. But there was an issue that you'll see in a little bit. That it had quite a lot of air trapped inside. So I came up with this solution here, where I used a pin to poke holes in it and let the air escape. But it seems like as soon as I poked a hole in it, the hole sealed right back up and the um, air didn't want to come out. I think later on I used a, um, a, uh, a razor knife and I slit holes in it, just very, very small holes, and that seemed to do the trick where the air would come out a little bit more easily. But uh, ultimately, I didn't want that air to stay in there. I wanted it to come out and uh, have the plastic uh, attached to the ceramic. So I flipped it over, and I was gonna go in for 350 at 10 minutes. 15 minutes, sorry. And as you can see, it has a nice glistening look to it and it definitely melted it more like I'd like it to. And I think it was a bit easier to get the air to come out. So the next phase would be to broil and we're gonna do the ceramic plates. And again, cut out four of these, or at least uh, that's what I did anyway. And uh, I'm going to do two at a time. And I'm just going to, now Royal has the heat over the top of it. And that's what I want. I only wanted one side to get melted. And uh, I think I put it in for too long. I think I left it in for maybe five minutes or ten minutes. And that was just a bit too long, as you will see in a second. See, it's just a bit too liquidy, a little too soft and uh, it didn't hold its shape as well as I'd like it to, but that's not a big deal, and uh, you can mold it very easily at this phase. And here I am just trying to line up the edges, make sure it's nice and straight, so when I flop it over, and I hammer it down, be careful, it's hot, dummy. So use oven mitts and mash it down real good and get those um, plastic pieces to melt together. And, uh, and again, you want to do it um, one piece at a time. And at this time I went with three minutes on broil. And that seemed to be the, the magic number, the Goldilocks zone, if you will. And uh, yeah, it just worked. It kept its shape and uh, it only melted the one side that I wanted. As you, you'll get a really good profile picture as to what that looks like here in a second. And again, mash down your edges first as that's where the, it might de delaminate more than you want it to, and then mash in the middle. Now your edges are gonna get kind of uh, bubbly, and anyway, you can just kind of mash it down and mold it in, so you don't have any burrs or any problems with it. And put it in again, and then you just throw your plate, your ceramic plates, on that backing 
and you want that melting right onto that plastic bags that you had just melted over your ceramic plates. Easy peasy. See, I tried this before where I didn't have any ceramic paper on the uh, on the plate and it was just a pain in the butt to get that uh, that plastic up off of it and I ruined one at one time and yeah it wasn't great it gets expensive after a while and uh, here I am just kind of bending the melted edges around that ceramic plate to kind of hold it in place even more now that I got that plate melted and and it's cooled off a little bit, I'm gonna put more plastic bags around it. That's right. And uh, this added a really cool effect, as you'll see later on in the video here. And again, you wanna put it, alternate the direction where you put the bag in. One on the top, one on the bottom, one on the top. And again, you wanna use, um, you know, just a ton of bags. And this is gonna be really cool. You guys gotta watch this. So here's the other idea that I had, is once I had it in the oven, I wanted to quench it, like how you would with metal and how you do a case harden on the, um, the outside of the metal. I was hoping to do the same thing with the plastic, to where the outside would be melted just a bit, and then it would cool very quickly, squeezing in on the inside. And uh, it would kind of have a harder shell on the outside, kind of a case harden. And uh, I guess we'll see how well that worked. And I just left it in there for a few minutes. It really didn't take long to cool off. All right, Ken folks, so the build is done and she is thick, thick, very thick. So she's about an inch and a half thick, an inch and a half thick. Um, it is a big beastie thing and uh, I'm glad it just looks really good had a hard time in the beginning with the plastic bags but I got that figured out as you guys can see and um, yeah I think uh, I'm really interested in seeing how this is going to perform and depending on how well it performs will determine what I will probably do next and see how well um, uh, if, if at all any kind of improvements and uh, for the next time I do this so you know, nothing you ever do is going to be perfect, and there's always room for improvement, and this is no exception. So now i got to find a friend with some um, heavy rounds to hit this with and see how well it performs. And, um, yeah, I'm not going to shoot any video of that because I don't want people knowing what my friends have as far as their arsenal and all that. I want to protect their privacy, all that good stuff. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to see how well this, this bad boy uh, goes and uh, you know what that's going to be the end of the video and the next video is going to be telling you how well it did and what I could do to improve it and uh, so yeah stay tuned for that one if you guys like this video like sub share all that good stuff smash that like button leave a comment telling me that you're an idiot or you're doing great whatever just leave it down in the comments and I will respond to it accordingly um, so yeah, I really appreciate all of you guys' support and um, look in the description box for other things like my merch and my support pages if you guys want to send me some, uh, some cash to help me keep making little videos like that. So that's all I got for you today, nerds. I'm going to send you one to be humble, be helpful, and be honorable. Thanks for watching.